Hi there, Wig Lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Sweet Talk Wig by Gabor in the color GL1627SS, otherwise known as Soft Shades Butter Biscuit, or Shaded Butter Biscuit. I really like this color. This is a really pretty sort of soft, ashy, blonde color that has little hints of a sort of warm butterscotch blonde blended in throughout. I mean, you'll see little kisses of like a caramel color in here, but it's not an overall warm color. You can probably detect that from the way this is looking on camera. It's, it's more ashy than anything else. And it does have a very soft, dark blonde or light brown root, depending on your interpretation. Um, but I don't necessarily think I feel very comfortable in this blonde color. I don't really think it's doing much for me. So I think I'm going to switch up to something that's a little bit more my speed. Much better. This is the GL630, also known as mahogany. This is a much more comfortable color for me for such a, you know, characterful wig. It's got a lot of personality. So I definitely don't want um, to feel like I'm being overwhelmed by the color. In this case, I feel right at home. And that's exactly what I suggest for you too. This kind of wig can wear you, <laughs> you know, as opposed to you wearing it, if you're not completely 100% on board with the color. Because this cut is just outrageous. It's got a ton of curls going on. You know, it's a little flat on top um, compared to the rest of the body. So you have to be really, really comfortable with the color. So that's really something I wanted to make a point of with this particular wig. Don't just go with light blondes because that's what's trendy. <laughs> because, you know, with a cut like this, that can really overwhelm you. Make sure that it's a color that you're really comfortable with so you can be completely on board with all of this texture. You know, and if you're a big personality gal who likes to experiment and you want big bold reds, Gabor's got them for you. The Sangria color is really bright and pretty. So, I mean, they've got you covered in that regard. So let me go ahead and show you what Sweet Talk looks like all the way around. And then we'll go ahead and talk some more specifics about it. So Sweet Talk's got a lot of body, like I indicated before, but it's not all on the top. You know, the top is, is kind of light in terms of permatease. Um, in, in relation to the body of the rest of the wig. Now, while that's going to thrill a lot of you, for somebody like me, it kind of leaves me cold because it gives the wig kind of a shape where it kind of like mushrooms out <laughs> at the ears. Um, but I'm sure that if you play with it a little bit, you'll be able to get, the, get it the way you want it. But, you know, I specialize in out-of-the-box reviews and that's what I'm going to stick to here as well. So, Sweet Talk has a lace front that is completely hand-tied and slightly contoured. She's got a monofilament left-hand side part. There's a little bit of felt surrounding all of the monofilament features and the seams on the inside of this wig. She's got open sides, open wefted back, an extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters, which we like. She does have permatease in the top of the cap, and like all monofilament side part wigs. You need to part this wig right in the center of the monofilament insert because if you part the wig a little bit too far over, let me show you, you'll see the seam. That's not a defect. That's how monofilament part wigs are. You just sort of have to make sure that you're parting it directly in the center of that monofilament insert so that way you don't see that seam. Doop, doop, doop. So, uh, very nice texture on Sweet Talk. A little overwhelming for me, honestly. Um, but I mean, that's just me personally. I think that, uh, you know, everyone's a little bit different. This is gonna be the perfect amount of volume for, for some people. Uh, very trendy, um, this kind of curl pattern right now. Very lightweight wig, by the way. It's only three ounces. So very nice 
comfortable wig. And Gabor wigs, even in their average cap size, tend to fit on the larger side of average, just so you're aware they stretch out quite a bit when you go to put them on. So I consider this wig quite comfortable. I mean, it's a darling wig. I don't know if it's necessarily for me personally, but I know that this one is very popular and that a lot of people really love it. I mean, maybe I'll be better off tucking it behind my ear. Maybe it'll look a little bit more natural that way. I mean, it's super cute. I will give it that. It's a super cute wig, extremely popular. The texture is basically effortless. You just gotta play with it with your fingers for a little bit until it basically goes where you want it to go. <laughs> so that's kind of nifty. Um, the front on Sweet Talk is seven inches, but I actually think that that's not accurate because this sample seems like it's only going about halfway down my face. So I'm gonna say six inches just to be on the safe side. The crown down, 8.5. The sides are six. The back is 7.5. And the nape is 3.5. So she's pretty short back there. So there you have it. This is the Sweet Top by Gabor. I showed you the Shaded Butter Biscuit earlier, and this one is in Mahogany, GL630. I'm Heather, I'm from sisterwigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. Uh, please be sure to check out our wig store if you get a chance, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanna see even more wig reveals. I don't know why I make that voice, it's just kind of... <laughs> I, I turned into Thurston Howell the third for a second or something. But uh, until next time, um, no, I know who it is. It's totally like Katherine Hepburn. Why? I could not look further from Katherine Hepburn if I tried. Oh, anyway, cute wig, sweet talk, awesome. Heather, sister wigs, good stuff. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs>